1924, sneakers were the new cool. That's when a German man named A. Dassler created a sneaker he named after himself called Adidas, standing for all day I dream about sport. This brand became the most popular brand in the world. Aid's brothers got jealous of his brand, so they come up with their own brand called Puma. Over time, sneakers have been worn for many different things, but nobody really knows the history behind them. When I was a child, I never really wore shoes, even though I was outside a lot. When I was 18, I started designing and making my own shoes. I came up with my own brand called Adidas, which meant I, all day I dream about sport. After five years of my successful achievements, my brothers Rudolph and Joseph came up with their own brand called Puma. When they came up with the ideas, I was quite shocked, but I gave them my advice to help them get up and running. Joseph William Foster was the creators of the first ever sneaker made called Pilmises. He made these knowing very little about shoe and style, but after Joseph made his first ever shoe, a US rubber shoe company was built in the United States, creating new and more comfortable shoes with canvas tops called Keds. This gave Joseph competition. Joseph had a great life discovering more and more about sneakers. Joseph spent most of his days drawing pictures and designing new and improved ways to wear sneakers. When Joseph made the Pilmises, he had no idea about left foot and right foot, so he could wear either shoe on either foot. But sadly, in the year of 1900, Joseph died of a heart attack, leaving the younger creators of sneakers to take on his role. In the year of 1956, tennis shoes, netball shoes and cricket shoes were invented. These shoes were very popular due to their grip, style and how long they would last. In 1986, 76 new brands were created, such as Sacconi, Brooks, New Balance. Some of these brands opened over 120 stores around the world. Most of the shoe companies had to work extra hours to make extra shoes due to shoes selling out. By the end of 1986 in December, there were 53 more brands invented. This gave a total of 129 brands around the world. This meant for more sneaker factories, now there are over 1 million sneaker factories around the world selling one brand of shoe. 2000 to 2016 By the early 2000s, sneakers were unstoppable. Scientists say that you will never have one day go past without seeing at least two people wearing sneakers. Through the last few years, sneakers had, have gone from zips to shoelaces and they have also got brighter and brighter colours. This causes people all around the world to wear them. Innovation. Sneakers have changed a huge amount over time. Their shape, colour, their style, their brands, and having to wear your shoe on left foot or right foot. There have already been goose shoes, spray on shoes, velcro and lace up shoes. But in the future, I think that sneakers will be more incredible than ever. In the future, I think you'll be able to change the color, shape, style, size and brand of your sneaker all by yourself with a little microchip or USB stick that you can just carry around with you all the time or you can get an app for your phone that will scan your shoe and then you can just type in what you want and it'll be much easier then people won't be wasting lots of money. Why are sneakers called sneakers? Sneakers are called sneakers because you can sneak up on someone while wearing them and they won't hear you. <laughs>